we will take up the classification of the human skeleton. So human skeleton is divided mainly into two parts. One is known as axial skeleton and the second part in which we would include many bones is known as appendicular skeleton. In axial skeleton, axial skeleton is all those bones which are which make the median line of the body. So starting from the top up to the bottom part, whatever comes in the center, those things would be considered as axial skeleton. And appendicular would include all those things which are attached laterally to this median line. So axial skeleton, it comprises of four parts. We include cranium into it. Cranium is this complete uh, skull region that we are talking of. Or let me put it the other way. We'll include skull into it and then we will have parts of it. So skull, when we say it is the entire thing above the neck region. So this entire part is the skull. The second thing that we include in this axial, the central line is vertebral column, vertebral column. Third thing, the breastbone or the bone on the ventral side of the body to which the ribs are attached, that is sternum and the fourth thing that is the ribs. So these things make up the axial skeleton. Appendicular skeleton, again as we said we have parts here. Appendicular means the things which are attached to this median skeleton from the lateral side. And for attachment of these limbs, there has to be these girdles, pectoral and pelvic girdles. So, girdles are included into this and limbs. So, these structures or these bones which make up these structure would be considered as axial or appendicular skeleton. We'll take up certain more parts and then number of bones and the detail of every part we will take up in from the next video. Skull, when we are talking of skull, what all things are we going to include? We would include cranium. As we said, skull is everything. That means from here, from the neck region, this entire part is called the skull. Cranium is only this upper part which encloses the brain. So cranium, then we would also include auditory capsule which has auditory bones. Then the face area. Face means only things which are visible to us from the front. And one more thing that is hyoid. That is tongue bone. Let us write down the number of these things so that we know how many bones are kept under axial skeleton and how many are considered as appendicular skeleton part. Cranium is made up of eight different bones. Their names, their locations we will take up later. Auditory bones, that means we are talking about those auditory bones which are present in the middle ear. Malleus, incus and stepes. Three in each uh, middle ear. So this number would come to six. Our face is made up of 14 bones and there is only one hyoid or tongue bone which is just beneath the tongue to provide that support so that the muscles can attach to it. If we make a total then this would come to 14 plus 6 is 20, 28 and 1. So skull has 29 bones in all. Vertebral column, we have actually 33 vertebrae. But last two parts, let me write down the vertebral areas, cervical, that is the neck region, then thoracic region, then lumbar region, sacral region and caudal region. Cervical region has 7, thoracic region has 12, lumbar has 5, Sacral also has five, but those five have fused 
to form only one piece. Similarly, caudal, there are four different pieces, but they have joined to form one. So if we add all these vertebrae, their numbers, 12 plus 7, this is going to be 19, then 5, 24, 25 and 26 pieces. We are not counting these as 5 and 4. We are taking them as 1 and 1 because these are the pieces after the fusion. So here we write 26 vertebral pieces. And now we have seen how they have fused and why we are taking this one number. Sternum that is breastbone is only 1. Ribs are 12 pairs. So we take 24 number. If we add all these things, all these pieces or bones, we would get 80 bones. So that means our axial skeleton is made up of 80 bones. We know we have 206 bones, but we need to know which part is considered as axial and which one is appendicular. Let us come to the appendicular skeleton now. There are two types of girdles, that is pectoral, girdle and pelvic girdle. Pectoral girdle is the shoulder girdle to which the upper arms are attached. Pelvic girdle is the hip girdle to which the hind limbs or the legs are attached. Each pectoral girdle is made up of two halves. We can say one half here, one half on the other side. And each half is made up of two bones. One is the shoulder bone, that is the scapula, and then we have a collar bone here. So there are two in each half. So here we take the number as four. So there are four bones in the pectoral girdle. Pelvic girdle, each half is made up of three bones. And these three have fused to form one part or one piece. So one piece on right side, one piece on left side. So we, when we count the number, we have taken one as a fused structure by form, uh, by fusion of three bones. So here we would take only two. The limbs, again we classify them into fore limb and hind limb. Each limb, each hand of ours is made up of 30 bones. So as we have two hands, we would say 30 plus 30. That means 60 bones are going to be there in our hands. Similarly, each leg also has 30 bones. So 30 plus 30 here, 60 in this case. If we add this number, 60 and 60, 120 plus this 4 and 2, that is 126. This would have 126 bones. So human skeleton has 80 plus 126, that is 206 bones in all. So this is what we talk of and we are talking about adults because the number of bones are more in newborns. Why that happens that we will see later on. But this is how we classify the skeleton. Axial skeleton which is like in the middle line. So we have this complete skull part which has cranium that is only the top part uh, which holds or uh, protects our brain. We also have this facial region. We have a bone which is just beneath our tongue and we also include the bones which are in our auditory capsule that is in the middle ear. So this makes our skull part. Then going down there are vertebral column. Vertebral column is on the dorsal side and it is made up of 33 actually vertebrae but they have fused to give us 26 pieces. Only one breastbone or uh, the chest bone, ribs, 12 pairs. So 12 on one side, 12 on the other side. So that number comes to 24 and the total bones in our axial skeleton are 80. We will be studying all these bones, their names, their exact location also. Appendicular, the bones which are attached to this median part, to this axial skeleton from the sides. The limbs are attached, our hands, legs, they are attached. And for attachment of these limb bones, we have these girdles. Two girdles, pectoral and pelvic, shoulder girdle and hip girdle. And then 
limbs, hands and legs. So this total comes to 206 pounds. From the next uh, uh, video, we would actually start discussing all these bones, their names and their exact location. So that we understand each and every name of the bone that we have and where exactly it is.